Hey my dear Aquarius, how are you? Hope you all are doing fantastic and fantabulous as usual. So today we will be doing your June month's uh, spread. What is going to happen in your love life and in general as well. Before I proceed, do remember that uh, the energies are interchangeable. And it may may not resonate with each and every one of you. It's a collective spread. Do check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter signs uh, before, uh, you know, leaving this particular uh, channel. And also remember that uh, I'm open for personal reading. In case if you guys are interested, you can hit me up on my Instagram page. The description is in the... Sorry, the link is in the description box below. So you can reach out to me. So let's start with your reading without a further ado. What is going to happen in your love life for the month of June? This is for my dear Aquarius here. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I see a separation coming in for you and a wedding. This situation involves marriage. I somehow feel that there can be two scenarios. I don't know why, but I felt that there are two scenarios that I feel. One is a uh, few of you are going through a separation uh, b because of uh, some reasons, some of the other reasons in your married life. And... Uh, you know, you, uh, things are not going pretty well uh, the way it is supposed to because of which, uh, you know, you may even, uh, you know, getting separated. And the other situation that I'm getting in my mind right now, both situations and the other situation I'm getting is few of you are unable to commit. Your partner is unable to commit or you are unable to commit because <clears throat> one of you is looking for marriage one of you is looking to settle down right one of you is looking for a stability in life and that is something that the other person is not looking for so that is also one of the reason why the separation can come in the uh, is there in the picture right i see love begins you are either moving on from this particular person and settling down with another person you have uh somebody else in your life they can be a third party situation as well that is also a possibility and uh, you feel very hopeful in this particular connection right so i see that you are leaving you're moving on from your current uh, relationship or connection or marriage to another one <coughs> sorry let's see what are the few extra messages that we have but then i see separation i see love begins i sense a third party situation over here dear aquarius there is something growing up in your partner's life or in your life let's see we'll clarify it through the tarot you can do this you are being advised that no matter what even if you're feeling pain you're feeling hurt right now but you can go ahead and take this particular step union aquarius i feel it is you you are separating from your partner for somebody and not that you're not feeling hurtful you 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 equally you are going through shit in your life but then there also there is also a new connection a new love that is brewing up in your life here right one-sided love i feel your past connection your past person from whom you're getting separated it was one-sided love you gave in more in this particular connection as compared to them healthy sexuality so as i said that you know it is aquarius i feel that you are moving on from something that has not served you quite well and now is the time when uh you know you are ready to move on it is equally hurtful for you but then you have decided that you need to move on now and you are moving on from it i see that happening you are worthy of love you are worthy of love and you deserve love right so let's see what is going on through the help of your tarot over here what is going on with the life 
what is go what will happen sorry i'm still i'm kind of recovering i just had my medicines and it at times makes me a little drizzy drowsy oh this normally act, uh, happens with me when you know during mercury retrograde so i'm not blaming it i'm just saying it <laughs> so let's see what is going to happen in the month of june in the life of my jay aquarius here in love and otherwise as well what is going to happen in the love life of my dear Aquarius here yeah judgment you're taking a call you're moving on from your past person here person who uh, you were connected with you're moving on you're taking a call you're taking a call you're deciding you are deciding you have gone back into your own shell you are also healing because i feel that the person that you were in or the marriage that you were in it was only you know it was only taking from you it it, it was not fulfilling it was not uh both ways it was not balanced right yeah it involves marriage I feel most uh, I am catching up to I'm catching on an energy who is somebody who's married over here but then I see a new passion igniting you have got in touch with somebody out of your marriage there's a third party involved who is very promising who can take care good care of you you feel loved you feel passionate in that particular connection and you are okay to move on from your marriage over here I feel that that person has you know given you given you those wings that you were looking for in your marriage right and for a very long time you were at a crossroad whether to leave this person whether to leave your partner or to stay in this particular relationship but then i see you taking a decision here right you're taking a decision here and you're moving on to something which is much more stable which gives you a lot of emotional support which fulfills you emotionally and you know um, off late i feel that you were closed you actually closed your heart and you realize that you know whatever it is in this marriage i'm surviving or in this relationship i'm just surviving and i'm just giving and giving and giving and you you felt direction less in your life and <clears throat> when this person entered in your life when this love begin in your life that is the time ace of wands ace of cups that is the time that you realize that you know no love means more than what i was doing you know i was just giving now i'm getting so that person actually gave you wings the person that you are connected with that person actually gave you wings you actually rejected them in past you kept on rejecting them they offered you love they offered you a connection they offered you a relationship but then you kept on rejecting and you fell directionless here can be even in a long distance relationship even uh, either you are going to travel towards them or they are going to travel towards you can be somebody uh, uh i see a heavy cancer in here can be somebody who is cancer in here but then i see that that person is okay to get married to you as well you know you're looking you're not uh, leaving your connection just because you're looking for some love or passion you're leaving your connection because you are looking you have received that stability the kind of support the emotional support that you were craving for from a very long time right you're moving on from your past person from your person your, your partner and you're equally feeling bad because you have invested a lot in this in this beat or affair or marriage but you have invested a lot in this i see that you have been manifesting you have been manifesting for this person to be uh, you know be good towards you but then your partner from whom you're moving on was a trickster here i feel he, he or she whosoever was was a trickster here that person did not made or make any uh that person did not take any stand when it come came to your connection and now you are you have decided to move on to somebody who will respect you who will take care of you who will be with you in every sense right but then you are equally terrified you are equally terrified what is going to happen what is going to happen but i see uh, there's a lot of travel tra uh, traveling that is go uh, going to happen a lot of communication again uh, i see uh, can be somebody with can be uh, somebody you can be connected with somebody who's a libran 
or heavy libra but i see a uh, legal case legal uh, complications or legally probably you are uh, even taking a step legally now if finally you are moving out of this connection and you're ready to file for a divorce as well in case not then i feel that uh you know for people who are single just in a relationship you are moving out and somewhere down the line you are feeling that the karma has been served the way they treated you now it's it's your time to give them back right you have been spiritually you know healing yourself all this while you have taken spirituality you know probably you're looking inwards a lot you're doing a lot of self reflection a lot of self healing self love and self worth work and now you're ready to take a leap of faith and you are going to take a leap of faith there's a new beginning that is ahead of you and you are raring to go ahead and move out of this connection you're feeling bad but it feels like you know you should have done that you were just looking for a support and now you have that support that person that you were connected with married to or in a connection with that person actually backstabbed you again and again right you tried to balance this connection you tried to heal this connection you tried to work upon this connection but then nothing really worked out and now the justice has been served now it's time when you are moving out and you are treating them the way they treated you right all this while all this while can be even dealing with a sagittarian here but i see that you know that person is not easily uh, your partner is not easily letting you go there's a lot of challenges confrontation lot of fights obstacles that they are creating in terms of legal ways as well can be a possibility uh you're also worried about finances that in case if i go ahead and uh, you know leave this particular connection will i be secured financially or not for singles i feel that again finances are uh, a challenge for you but then when you are looking at the bigger picture you're looking for a uh, family you're looking for stability you're lo looking for emotional support you're looking for an, for a shoulder to cry upon for somebody who will take care of you not in terms of uh, not materialistically not in terms of money or something but emotionally as well you know take can take care of you so your world is going to change in the month of june there's huge decision that you're going to take and uh, can be dealing with a leo energy as well but i see that you becoming very wise you're taking the right steps you're taking you making the right decisions you're not letting the past uh, moments or time uh, you know past uh, person affect your decision here you're being very wise here and you're actually breaking all the ties that you have uh, have been uh, dealing with with your person you are having anxiety you are having sleepless night you are unable to sleep at night you are thinking about what is going to happen in life am i taking the right step or not and i see that they are also apologetic towards you but then are you accepting their apology i see no because emperor came out you are being a little egoistic you are being authoritative and i somehow feel that you are telling them that you know all this while i have been taking i have been taking care of you you were never there you know emotionally or in any which ways you were never there you never bothered about me and now is the time when i will take care of myself i will put myself first and that is when i see this emperor card as well you have taken charge of your life you are okay being single you are patiently waiting for these issues to get resolved and now you feel emotionally very satisfied very satisfied and very balanced in life the person that you are going to have a relationship or connection with now is somebody who is very balanced who who you can get a stable life with you can get committed you can get uh you can have a family with you know so i think you both are committed to each other and that is when you got that power to leave this person behind and move on with your life to a better to a better person here right to a better person amazing amazing i feel you are feeling very passionate in life very passionate in life now all of a sudden your charm your glow has come back it feels as if your life has become a fairy tale once again once more right and you keeping all these things to yourself you're not disclosing it to anybody and at the same point of time i feel that few of you uh, you know you are connected with to this person through your work or something but now you feel very satisfied and i see with the emperor i see the empress here 
it's a divine connection that you are getting into now and you are done with abandonment issues you're done dealing with abandonment you're done feeling stuck you're done feeling directionless you're done feeling blindfolded and now you have become cold to, towards your current partner and okay to move forward to the other one for a commit with a commitment right so it's going to be a heavy month uh, for married people separation divorces on the cards for people who are into a connection moving on from one person to another person but to a better person to a better person much better person right so that's about it the aquarians do let me know if this resonates with you do leave me a comment and do like share subscribe to my youtube channel it will encourage me more and thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in the next video bye bye